Randy, whenever you want to start the process of going, of going through your rivet application or installation, you always want to make sure you're setting yourself and your team up for success, right? So what are some of the things that you've seen from a best practices aspect that have helped you and the folks that you train get the most and get the best ben benefit out, out of what they're doing? Well, you want to make sure that you got your gun lined up properly when you're putting in your rivet. Okay, okay. if you got your gun set up where it's twisted, it's going to put in the rivet kind of crooked or the gun is going to kick on you. Right. Okay, so you right. want to make sure you got your gun lined up so it's square or straight with, uh, with the repair area. Sure. Um, you want to make sure you have like a mapping sequence set out so you know which uh, position each rivet has to go. Okay. Or um, you could write it on there, you could color code it. Um, but you need to have your technicians aware of where those rivets go okay. and what place. So when I look at something, so we use these, okay, sure. and, and you know they're Posca type pins, but we use them and that we color code each rivet, we also put the size, so that way that we don't get confused when we're going through the, the, the installation process. Because again, I don't know if you've checked the price of a quarter lately, but they're not cheap. And it oh, doesn't no. have to be a quarter, it could be a rocker, could, could could be any structural component. But when I look at these and, 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 no, and notice it, is putting the wrong rivet in the wrong location, is that a problem? Can we simply unring that bell? Oh no, you couldn't. It, it could be definitely be a problem. You, once you put that rivet in, it's, it's there. Okay. So if you put it in and you have to remove that rivet because it's wrong, it's the wrong size, you gotta put a new quarter on. Mm. And then you might have to even do um, another repair further in right. um, into that procedure. Okay, that's so, a good point Because you can only put a quarter panel <clears throat> on so many times. I know that for us <clears throat> in, the mar in the market that we're located in, there's a, a wide temperature variance. So, you know, in the summer, it's very hot, it's very humid, and of course, in the winter, it's cool, cooler. What are some of the things that we need to consider with these, the, with these temperature variances? Well, if it's cooler, you're gonna have a little more time. <clears throat> if it's hotter, you're gonna, it's gonna take less time to cure, okay. all right? Okay. And you're gonna need multiple technicians to put a quarter on, possibly. Okay. So that's why, where it falls back into the mapping again. Right. That way, if you have multiple technicians working on a quarter panel, they know which rivets go where. Right. So. Well, because clearly, if the uh, if the structural glue sets up faster than you've got it riveted, uh, then it's too late. Correct. I correct. Mean, it's, yep. it's it's once no it's, longer. Once it's hard, it's hard. You're not gonna you're not changing it. Gotcha. So. Yeah. And if you don't put the right rivet in the correct position, that's a liability on the technician. And the ah, shop. well said. The liability so. of not doing doing it right is e it is easily recognizable. Okay. Yep. Great points. If you found today's tip helpful, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. Comment below for any future suggestions. These videos are made possible by SCRS. If you aren't currently a member, I encourage you to join. Visit scrs.com or use the link in the description below.